Hi guys, John Allo here. Thanks very much for uh, coming to check out uh, today's video where I'm looking at uh, your, your online business and the actual uh, the website that you have for your online business because uh, you may have the, uh, the best uh, website in the world but is that enough? Is that enough to make a, uh, a successful online business? Sometimes uh, you can live in the world of uh, if I build it, they will come. In other words, if I build this website, I'll get lots of customers coming through to, uh, uh, to come and buy from me. But unfortunately, that's just, uh, that's just not the case. Uh, let's have a look today at the uh, at the five things that uh, you need in addition to having that uh, that website if you want to have a successful online business. The first thing, obviously, you've got to have is quality products. Now, these are the products that you are selling. You, you, if you're going to have a business, you've got to have something to sell. Now, you don't necessarily have to create these products yourselves because you can sell other people's products for affiliate. Uh, marketing programs, uh, which we've spoken about before, but obviously what you have to ensure is is that you are you are clear on who you are selling to. If you try and sell everything to everybody, you're probably going to end up selling nothing to uh, to anybody. So have a clear focus on who your target market is, what their need is, what they are looking for, and ensure that your product is a quality product that fulfills that need. The next thing you've got to have is traffic. Now, traffic is the uh, is the customers who are actually coming to your website and having a look around to see what your business is all about. Um, uh, traffic is like the lifeblood of an online business, and essentially, there are two main ways in which you can generate traffic, and that is by paying for it, i.e., going to uh, a, a, another business who has who is already receiving the traffic that you want from people that you want and buying that traffic from them and directing it towards your website. Or you can uh, use free traffic methods whereby uh, you have people coming to your website and you haven't actually paid anybody to do it. Obviously there is a cost involved in the amount of time you're gonna need to take to, uh, to generate that traffic to come to your website. Key thing here is, is that never rely on just one traffic method. It's always worth uh, uh, getting proficient and, and learning how to have a couple of paid traffic methods and also how to use, uh, get some free traffic methods so that if one traffic method suddenly stops, you've got a backup, a backup plan. Once the people have arrived at your website, uh, the chances are they're gonna have a look around, but it's unlikely that uh, they're gonna buy from you there and then. So what you need to do is you need to, uh, to build a list of customers. You need to, to grab their uh, details of these visitors who have come to your website and uh, encourage them to leave, even if it's just their email address, so that you can then carry on getting in contact with them. So what, rather than relying on them to come back to you uh, and come back and revisit your website, you can then email them uh, with information about uh, your, your products and services. Now, as we move on to the fourth element, this is called the sales funnel. Now, basically uh, what this means is, is that once you've got somebody's email address and you start to, um, uh, you start to send them emails, is, is that there has to be a set process that they go through so that they can understand what your, what your uh, products or services are about. Now, it's unlikely that someone's gonna uh, uh, come into your, um, into your sales funnel, into your email list, and then start to buy hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of uh, products from you. So there's a process that you go through where there's a smaller item that they get so that they understand that, that's, uh, that they, they see the value in that, and then they go through a series of process where not only do they start to buy higher ticket items from you, but they also buy from you again and again. Finally, the key thing is that uh, you can't just blast out sales messages to people via email all the time. You've got to provide value, you've got to give them information, and you've got to be seen as being a trusted source of that information. Once you can start to build a relationship, once you can start to build trust with somebody, they're going to be more inclined to, uh, to buy from you. Anyhow, uh, there's lots more information in, uh, in today's blog post and the link is uh, above or below this particular video. 
Um, thanks very much for coming to check this out. I hope you go to the blog post and, and read more. If you've got any comments, please put them in the comment box below this particular video. Put them on underneath the, uh, the blog post. Put them on the, uh, the comments on YouTube. And uh, I'll certainly do my best to come back and answer them in, uh, in the best way that I can. Anyhow, uh, this is John Allo saying thanks for checking out this video. And I shall speak to you soon. Okay, cheers for now. Bye.